Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you an awesome program that I wrote in Computercraft. For those who don't know it, Computercraft is a Minecraft mod and as you can see we are here in Minecraft. So let's take a look at it. This program allows you to add screens to your monitor. Each screen is basically a GUI or GUI, a graphical user interface and allows you to interact with your computer and using functions with your world. Let's just take a look at different objects that you can add to the screen. As you can see here, we've got five different objects that we can add to the screen. First is text, nothing special, just normal text. The button, you've already seen before, when you click it, something happens. In this case, nothing. Slider is this here, you give it a value and depending on the value, it fills itself to a certain degree. The variable represents a certain value, in this case it's the time, so if I press refresh, you can see that the time is different now. And the last thing is input. If we can go here and enter something, I know I'm very creative, right? Then we can see something here. Let's take a closer look at the different buttons and values and sliders and whatnot. The slider can have certain options. First of all, the length, you, as you can see, this slider is longer than this one. Next is the direction. This slider goes to the right, this one goes down, this one goes up and this one goes left. Additionally, depending on the value the slider has, the color is different. In this case, it's very low, so it's just red. This one is medium, about a bit more than 50%, so it's yellow. And those two are pretty full, so it's green. And I guess that's all you can do with sliders, unfortunately. The variables can be very useful, because you can give them functions to determine which value they should have. In this case, you can see front input, left input and back input, they are all false. So why don't we just give them some input? If we turn this one and this one on and press refresh, we can see the front input is still false, but the left and the back input, they give them power. And again here, uh, like we've seen before, refresh and we've seen another time. Refresh again and the time updates again. Now let's just show you the last the usage demonstration. Basically we've got pretty much everything here except the slider. We've got text here, the input, a value, again the time and buttons. So let's just enter my username and create them in that case. That's my username and the password. In this case you can't see it, it's like a real password. And if we press login, you can see a diamond! Yeah, seriously, what did you expect? Now, basically, I just want to show you that you can also add passwords, which is pretty useful if you want to add some kind of security to your screens, if you um, add this to your local Minecraft storage and I don't know what. That's it, basically, guys. I'm happy to... I've shown you this and bye.